Okay, so today we're going to be tackling uh, this render I did right here. It's a simple um, abstract kind of geometric design and uh, first we're going to tackle how to model it and then we're going to do the lighting and the texturing. So make sure that your scene is completely clear, nothing's in there, and we're going to add Shift A and we are going to add an icosphere. I'm going to scale it up just a little bit. I'm going to hit Tab, W, and then Subdivide Smooth. And then over here, number of cuts, so just drag it all the way to 10. All right, we're good here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a subdivision surface and a displace. Down here on your displace, click New, and then click this little thing right here, and that'll bring you to the uh, texture selection. Right here on Image or Movie, go up here, and I'm going to pick uh, clouds, just your simple clouds, and then bring your depth down, and then bring down... Whoops. Bring down your size till you like what you have going on. Um, I think we'll go with this. Actually, let's do one one more. Play with the depth a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go with this, and let's add one more modifier, and we're gonna add a decimate modifier. So click your decimate, and then bring it down to right about right about there. We want to maintain the shape but we don't want so much decimation where it's destroying our overall shape. And the reason we want these vertices to be fairly big. Okay. So in your render just put on a one just in case. And then here, now that we have it here, we want to get this sort of hexagon style um, vertices. Right now they're all triangles. So there's two ways to do it. One way to do it is to add a bevel. And what that and then click only vertices. Oops. Yeah, that that's correct. So you almost get this hexagonal design. You kind of get it, you can kind of see it, but it's still kind of triangulated. Dep depends on the model. But there's a way to get the hexagons um, without fail, and that's right over here on the tissue tools. If it's not on already, go to your user preferences, and then go to your add-ons and type in tissue. And it should be right there, tissue tools, and click it. And then right, it'll be right down here on your sidebar. If it's not there, you're going to see a little plus and drag it over. All right, tissue tools. Um, right here, you're going to click dual mesh. Now, keep in mind, it's destructive. Once you click dual mesh, all these are going to go away and you're going to start from scratch. So just keep that in mind. Um, so we're going to click dual mesh on our model. Let it think a little bit. And there we have our hexagons. We have that, that design. It's a really cool dual mesh. is an amazing little um, button in the add-on. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to hit tab, hit A to make sure everything's selected. Now we're going to hit space bar to go into our menu and type in edge split right down here edge split and I'll show you what that's gonna do we're gonna go to our modifiers and we're gonna click smooth boom and now we can see what the edge split did if we play with the factor we can see what's going on so that's what's going on right there next thing we're gonna add is a solidify and we're gonna bring our thickness till we you know can't see an edge or until it starts doing that so just bring it till you like it. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to add ambient occlusion so we can much better see what's going on. You can do that's this is just a preference thing. We can kind of ambient occlusion lets you kind of see the depth much better. All right. So now we have this going on. Now on the render, we have this little outline. So let's we're going to do that next. What we're going to do is we're going to take our model duplicate it and just scale it up a little bit over here in your modifiers delete the solidify and replace it with a wireframe right now it's pretty thick we're gonna bring that down until it's just a little bit of a hairline so just about that big and I'm gonna keep it about that size I'm gonna add a sunlight real quick just to sort of uh, an easy way to preview our model just to see how it looks so far and that's how our model's looking. 
and um, I'm happy with it. So we're gonna we are gonna continue next to lighting and texturing. So simple for the texture. All we're gonna do is gonna go over here to our materials, click new, right here in diffuse, click principled BSDF, and right here in metallic, bring it all the way in metallic, and we're gonna leave this white for now. We might change it later. And then of course on our outline wireframe icosphere, go to materials, click material, and just add the same one so it's the same thing. All right, I'm gonna add my camera now. I'm going to keep it at 1920 by 1080 because this will be the thumbnail for the video. Okay, now we're going to go into lighting. So in order to do that, we're going to add a plane, scale it up, and we're just going to rotate it. It's right about there. Go back to our camera, and we're just going to scale it till it passes up our camera view. And we're also going to give this plane the same material. So now we have all this. Now, next thing we're gonna do is the lighting. The way I did the lighting is just two simple area la lamps. I believe they're called area lamps. One right here and one right here and they're just um, casting right on there, onto the model. So let's shift A right down here on lamp and add an area. And we're just gonna bring it till it's right outside the camera view and then rotate it till it's pointing so negative whoops nope it's going to want to be 90 degrees there we go and then we're going to scale it up oh no that's not what I wanted there we go okay 90 degrees and we're going to scale up the size and we're going to put our strength at 300 for now just to preview it and Shift Z to see how it looks. Oh, we forgot to do something on our material. Go back to your material and up your roughness to right about there so we can see what's going on. It was completely like a mirror. And that's what we have right now. And we're going to copy this lamp here. And we're going to just bring it to the other side. And we're going to rotate it negative 90. And let's see what we got. Alright, it's looking good. We're going to just up our strength on the one on the left to 500. And one on the right, give it a slight blue tint. That's what I did on the uh, final render here. We had a blue tint and then one that was fully white. And let's check it out. It looks really good. Alright. We might be almost done. We're going to up the strength on the blue one to 500 and the one on the left to 1,000. Whoops, that's 100. Yeah, that looks right. That looks about right. Um, and yeah, that just about sums up the tutorial. You can go in and make whatever changes you want stylistically. Um, on the render, this one's going to take a good bit of time to render. I put my settings at 300 samples um, right here in sampling. Actually, no, I had it on 500 samples because it was kind of noisy for me. I don't know what kind of computer you have. And then I had on your denoising, I put it at 0 0.1. You won't need a lot of denoising when it has 500 samples. I just want it the most high quality render. And um, that's basically it. And uh, yeah, and that's how you make that sort of abstract geometric design. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something.